Did you know that Excel is a powerful tool for performing break-even analysis in project environments? Understanding your project's break-even point can be critical for ensuring profitability. In this video, we'll create and share a dynamic template in Excel with three easy steps. Plotting break-even charts in Excel, finding margin of safety and angle of incidence, and performing sensitivity analysis in Excel. By the end, you'll know exactly how to assess and optimize the profitability of your projects. You can follow along by getting the Excel workbook via the provided link in the description below. Step 1 is plotting break-even charts in Excel. In project management, especially for large investments like real estate, knowing when your project will become profitable is critical. Our case study focuses on a new residential complex project with plans to build 25 apartments or flats. Our fixed cost for land acquisition and permits is $2 million. Variable costs related to materials and construction for each flat is $300,000. After setting a selling price of $500,000 per flat, our aim is to find break-even point or number of flats to be sold to start making a profit. To find break even point, we must divide the fixed cost by selling price minus variable cost, which is equal to 10. This means we need to sell at least 10 flats to cover our fixed and variable costs. We can plot the break-even chart by finding total cost and revenue for different numbers of built flats. Our total cost is the sum of fixed and variable costs. Our revenue is the product of selling price and number of flats. To plot the break-even chart, select the data array and insert a scatter plot with the straight lines and markers. Then use the switch row column option in the chart design tab and update the chart style to match your project reporting routine. The break-even point is at the center of our chart where revenue equals total costs. The region of loss is on the left of our break-even point. The profit region is on the right hand side where more than 10 flats are sold and profit is made. Step 2 is finding margin of safety and angle of incidence. In the context of break-even analysis, margin of safety or MOS is a measure of risk tolerance. The margin of safety helps us understand how much actual sales can drop before the project becomes unprofitable. Margin of safety is the difference between actual sales and break-even sales. For example, if 25 flats are sold, the margin of safety will be 25 minus 10. It indicates that sales can drop by 15 flats before our business reaches its break-even point. In the context of break-even analysis, the angle of incidence or AOI is the angle between the revenue line and the total cost line. This angle measures profitability intensity. An steeper angle means higher profit per additional flat sold, which makes profit more sensitive to changes in sales volume. Step 3 is performing sensitivity analysis in Excel. This step helps us prepare for different market conditions and price changes. We should examine how changes in the main parameters of our financial modeling affect profitability. Let's start with determining the base case for the two parameters of selling price and number of flats sold. Based on historical data from previous projects, our base case is 20 flats sold at a price of $500,000. The formula for our profit is the product of number of flats sold and price minus fixed cost plus the product of flats sold and variable cost. Now we must calculate selling price with variations, for example, at 10 and 15% from the base case and minus 10 and minus 15% from the base case. Remember to make variations to one parameter at a time. Therefore, the number of flats sold remains at 20, which is the same as the base case. We can find the profit for these scenarios by replicating the formula of profit. In the next step, we must fix the base selling price at $500,000 and vary the number of flats sold at 10 and 15% from the base case and minus 10 and minus 15% from the base case. We can again replicate the profit formula for these scenarios. To animate this, we can select the two columns of varying parameters and profit outcome. Then navigate to insert tab and recommend the charts. A funnel chart or tornado graph is a good recommendation. Feel free to adjust the style to suit your project management reports. Looking at the chart, profit is highly sensitive to changes in selling price. Even a small increases or decreases in price have a noticeable impact on profitability. The response is asymmetric and profit increases faster with higher prices than it decreases with price cuts. This suggests that pricing adjustment can significantly influence break-even point and overall profitability. Profit is also sensitive to changes in sales volume, but the impact is not as dramatic as selling price. Increasing or decreasing units sold by the same percentage results in a less steep change in profit compared to price changes. If the goal is to maximize profit, focusing on maintaining or strategically increasing the selling price yields better returns than focusing on sales volume. This means any price reduction should be done cautiously to avoid significant profit erosion. Sensitivity analysis allows project managers to see how sensitive the project's profitability is to changes in price and sales volume. This helps assess risk and make data-driven decisions about pricing strategies. And there you have it, an easy and short implementation of break-even analysis using only three simple steps in Microsoft Excel. 
If you found this video useful, please remember to like and consider subscribing. I look forward to reading your comments and seeing you in the next one.